Hey there, future medical heroes. Today we're diving into the world of adenosine. Picture this. Your heart is a symphony, and adenosine is the maestro. It's a super useful drug often used to treat and diagnose a condition called stable, narrow-complex supraventricular tachycardia, but can also be used in cases of wide-complex tachycardias, which are regular and monomorphic. Now, how does it work? Adenosine works its magic by slowing down conduction time in the cardiac atrioventricular node. This is done via the activation of potassium channels and the inhibition of calcium influx, which disrupts the resting potential of slow nodal cardiac myocytes. This mechanism is particularly useful because it blocks entry to the AV node in the heart, which can help restore normal rhythms in patients with SVT. It's like hitting the reset button on a game console. Boom, back to normal. Now let's talk about dosing. For adults with a fast-beating heart, adenosine is given intravenously as a 6 mg dose, followed by a rapid IV saline push. If the heart continues to race, a second dose of 12 mg can be given. For the kiddos, the first dose is 0.1 mg per kilogram of body weight, given as a rapid bolus. If needed, a second dose of 0.2 mg per kilogram can be given, but not more than 12 mg in total. The great thing about adenosine is that it's fast. We're talking cheetah speed. It gets to work within seconds, and its effects also disappear in seconds. In fact, it has a half-life of less than 10 seconds. It's like a superhero swooping in to save the day and then disappearing before you can even say thank you. But like any good hero, adenosine has its kryptonite. Adverse effects include skin flushing, lightheadedness, nausea, sweating, and even a sensation of impending doom. But don't fret, these side effects are as fleeting as the drug's half-life. So there you have it, folks. Adenosine is a speedy, effective drug used to treat and diagnose certain heart conditions. Just remember to use it wisely, and always keep an eye out for those pesky side effects. Until next time, keep learning and stay healthy.